Yay! It's really cold out there today, um, but the sun's shining, and that's, that's encouraging. Got some snow out there, but it's nice and warm in there. Hey, I'll tell you what. I got this uh, part for that steady rest mounted here, and I got to cut it off. So let's see if an old Monarch double E will cut that off with uh, with a high speed steel um, porting blade. Let's do it. Now this thing's pretty noisy. I think it's got a bad bearing somewhere in there, but we'll get it going. <laughs> Got an old uh, eighth inch uh, T blade. Get that in there. Just the part I did that radius. I got a little mark there for it. That's real fast. It's a little slow. I'm going to get that mark first. per revolution. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can break the tool. and break that edge. Back it out. Just kind of break that edge a little bit there. Get back on my mark. Lock her up. Get her back down there. Looks pretty good. Saw something else I forgot to do. I need to knock that thing off. Yeah, just like downtown Hollywood. Okay, back at it.
Here we go. See that bearing? I don't know where it is. I'll find that thing. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I am so glad to have that done. <laughs> How much time I got into that? About six minutes. I dink around a little bit here. Now this is the last piece. I just got to get that burr off there, but there it is. Fits in there. One of those screws to draw it in. Oh, I'm so glad. You know, these um, steady rests are really quite a deal. And I, I was looking at HGR's lineup of jerk glaze, and hardly any of them come with a steady rest. So when you buy a jerk glaze like I do, you're gonna have to do something with a steady rest. And I got another one here back here. Let's see if I can uh, dig that out. Um, it's a special custom. Oh, here it is. Yep, yeah, I got it, I got it. I got it. No! I'm old but strong. <laughs> now I made this one, this, this one here a little dirty. Um, this here is just a piece of thick wall pipe, and I and I copied um, how uh, the fingers are on a on an import steady rest that was available at the time to 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 look and made uh, left hand threads and stuff. You know, I didn't put a hinge in it because I use it. I use this for uh, doing cylinder sleeves. On this old Monarch Double E here, um, I could adapt cylinder uh, sleeves to antique engines and things like that and modify them. So this one here I totally fabricated. <laughs> Looks pretty terrible, but it actually works. And I did this uh, for a Lodge and Shipley power turn, a really large one. And I used thick wall pipe too. They use a lot of thick wall pipe at Hanford. And that's all this is here. And uh, then uh, the other one uh, I did is I took a steady rest like this, and uh, it was shorter. Then I just made a steel bar under it and fit that to the bedways and uh, bolted uh, that to the lathe. That was on a Lodge and Shipley power turn that I didn't get anything with, too. So it's chronic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fun to, you know, using uh, the various tools and, you know, use the jig bore here. And, uh, you know, one thing I want to say uh, with when I use the jig boring to, uh, machine, uh, I have the, the cutter grinder here ready to uh, sharpen boring bars. So, you know, in order to finish this project, I had to sharpen one of my uh, dull boring bars out of that pile there that I'm still working through. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I think that's uh, one of the advantages of doing videos is uh, I get my, my tools sharpened and my shop clean. Because <laughs> my shelf was looking pretty terrible. Now I'm still working on this adapter here on this uh, old brown and sharp milling machine. Now th this is the spline driver that drives the, this uh, particular type of vertical head that hangs on a yoke here. And uh, so you don't have to remove the yoke. They, they had an adapter that you could stick here. And uh, this is a yoke that's special to the machine. I don't know if I can get that out. It's kind of a tight fit right there. I'm fitting it in. But that way I can use a, a horizontal arbor. Uh, take the, the spline driver out, then use this horizontal arbor. I've got some gears to cut. <laughs> It's never ending. So I guess this is probably one of the next projects here. So I'll, uh, I'll get on that and uh, 
I just got a lot of things to do, and I, I hope you enjoy uh, uh, seeing some of this, and maybe some of it, you know, you can find useful. Okay, well, I'll get back. Thanks for checking in.